Hello everybody, this is Neil Faree. Okay, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how and why social shares and social signals is becoming the new SEO. So over the next couple of minutes I'm going to share with you the top sites, tools, and apps you can use right now to build a do-it-yourself content marketing system so that you can easily and quickly curate quality content and then syndicate that content to your social networks so you can increase your social signals so your web pages will get ranked higher in the search results. And if you look at this diagram from search metrics, it clearly shows these are the ranking factors that Google uses to rank a web page. And it clearly shows that social signals is already having a major influence on the search results. Back on October 28th, J.D. Rucker posted this article on social media today and his premise is that social signals, quality content, and search marketing are all going to merge in 2013. So I built from that these three key takeaways. Social signals will eclipse link building as the key ranking factor in 2013. And the big search engines, Google and Bing, they know the difference between content that is promoted using spamming techniques and content that's truly high quality. And they can see through the, they can make a difference between the two. And number three, and probably most important, is a share from a trusted account is much more influential than a share from one that has been deemed spammy by the search engines. And this is what a trusted account looks like. It's called off Google authorship. And once you establish authorship, that means that your photo and a link to your profile can now appear next to your content in the search results. And this is what it looks like in the real world. If you type in a keyword phrase, in this case, get ranked on page one of Google, if you set up your authorship, then your rich snippet will render right next to your ranked search page. And as you're over time, as you curate and or create quality content that emanate from your Google Plus account, your author rank will increase and therefore your pages will rank higher in the search results. At the end of the day, in this business model, this is what you're looking to acquire or obtain and build is create a robust social link wheel composed of these these uh, tier one social networks so that when you whether create or curate really good quality content you can push it out and or syndicate that content to your social platform and as we all know there's no shortage of uh, social platforms to choose from and I can tell you though from the research that I've done and the work that I've done over the last couple of years the 2080 rule applies. In other words, 20% of the social networks are going to account for over 80% of the traffic. So depending upon your niche market and the audience that you want to communicate with and share content with and do business with, that'll determine which one of these social networks you want to uh, include in your social profile. Now the first thing you want to do, of course, is make sure that your your main website is social friendly and by that I mean make it so that your audience when they come to your page they can share your content in this case this is the dig dig widget and when someone comes to my page they can pin it they can share it they can plus it they can send it to buffer or they can tweet it this widget over here this lets people connect with me on any one of my my major social networks be it Facebook, Twitter, Plus, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Scoop It, whatever the case may be. What you want to do before you uh, move on that, of course, is drop your, your domain into, pop over to HubSpot, drop it into Marketing Grader, and let it run a scan. I wouldn't worry so much about the score as much as I would the full report because that will tell you where your site is strong socially and where you have areas that need improvement. Okay, so let's talk about which profiles you want to have right out of the gate. Number one, first and foremost, is get on plus because that will enable you to set up your authorship. But you're also going to want to have a Google Plus local listing so that you get found locally. And how you construct, package, and 
configure these various assets is really important of which we'll cover in a future video. You're also going to want to get comfortable and use incorporate circle count. So out of the, what is it, 450 some odd million people that are on plus already, 20 million have been indexed by circle count. You want to be one of those 20 million. You want to get, it, get comfortable using Google Hangouts. The maturation of this module on the Plus platform is a social signal turns into a share, turns into an engagement, and then once you have that, you're able to establish relationships, and this platform is ideal for that. Brand new on the block with Plus is what's called Google Communities. You want to search for, find, and engage and participate in these communities because this is all topic related. This is where your customers, your prospects, your clients convey and share information. You're going to want to have a, a, a Facebook personal page and a Facebook fan page. You're going to want to have a Twitter account. This is the fastest way to build a following of like-minded individuals that that uh, share information about your niche market and your topics. You're going to want to have a LinkedIn account and you're going to want to set it up so that you have your skills and your expertise so that your network of followers can endorse your skills and expertise. You're going to want to have a YouTube channel and you're going to want to configure it so that it's branded with your logo or the things that, that tag your brand and you're going to want to figure out and learn how to build custom video thumbnails so that when it comes to related related videos or recommended videos your your video thumbnail renders in those in those uh, video results you're going to want to have a Vimeo channel and oh by the way come early 2013 if you have a, if you want to monetize your Vimeo channel they're going to release a new feature called tip jar so you can monetize that channel. You're definitely going to want to have a slide share account and you see how social friendly it is right out of the gate. And just to give you an example of the power of this Web 2.0 property, here's a piece that I authored back on January 28th, how to create a, a custom Web 2.0 link wheel. It's gotten 20,000 some odd views since then, but notice here, 168 people downloaded it, 15 people favored it, but 34 people grabbed the embed code and then rendered this presentation on their website. So out of the 21,000 views, over half of them came from sites outside of SlideShare. That's how powerful this asset is. You're going to want to have a Pinterest account and you're going to want to make sure that you validate your domain so that those do follow links carry through and you're going to want to have a Google Plus local listing and how you set that up so that the, you render in the A spot for the targeted keyword phrase that you want to get found for really matters of which we'll cover again in a future video and in my case you know I want to be I want to get found for social SEO so being in the A spot for social SEO in the Los Angeles market is a good thing the more reviews and citations you have will really determine whether you rank in that pecking order and you're going to want to make sure that to support not only the Google local listing is that you also have and claim and optimize your listing in the other major uh, local directories like Bing, Yelp, and Yahoo. Okay, the About Me asset, this is extremely useful if you want to socially engage what I call thought leaders. Because not only is it a nice way to showcase your unique selling proposition and connect all of your major social, uh, you know, tier one, tier two properties, but you're able to engage one by one what I call a guerrilla marketing tactic because look at here 625 of my social media contacts are on fine or on uh, about me so I was able to engage Neil Patel who's the proprietor of Kiss Metrics and a gazillionaire when it comes to monetizing internet marketing consults with the fortune 500 and I you can do that and you can do that very simply 
you're going to want to set up your social monitoring accounts as well Google Plus is probably the most popular and definitely the most powerful and you can f configure it for everything or blogs or video you can do exact match you can do broad match you can say best results all results once a day as it happens you're going to want to configure a twi alert so that you it's the same as Google alerts only it's built for Twitter only you're going to want to set up a social mention account so that you can find who's talking about the keyword phrases that fit your niche market and the objective here is you want to be one of the top users for the keywords that you're tracking with because that's going to be a social signal that's going to invite other people to engage with you and you're going to want to set up a where tweeting account that's still in beta it's kind of like social mention only it's for Twitter and you're going to be able to like in this case here social media marketing dropped in my uh, my geo tags there's my push pin so that's my location and here's all the Twitter profiles that are talking about social media marketing in a real snapshot easy to use dashboard you're going to want to configure a crowd booster account because what it'll do it'll scan your account every day drop right into your Gmail email account uh, recommendations on people you should follow because they just followed you and what I like about this one is I click that I automatically follow them but it also shows me their clout score which is an indicator of their social prowess right within Gmail if you've got the reportive uh, extension built in then you're able to one follow them right from within Gmail but you can also see their cloud score and where they're located really handy the manage flitter account lets me do a couple of really neat things number one is every week I go to this module here the inactive and in my in my routine someone who hasn't tweeted in 30 days I want to remove them from my stream but what I'm also able to do is configure this so that anything I post to Google Plus automatically goes to my my uh, my Twitter my Twitter stream. The social oomph I use this tool to not to one vet my followers, but it's also a great technique for building your your Twitter base, your Twitter followers, your Facebook f friends and followers, Twitter and and Google Plus because you can create a script at the end so that anybody that follows you on Twitter you can tell them hey Joe thanks for following me on Twitter let's connect on plus and it works famously not all the time of course but it's very effective the tweet spinner is the same guys who own follower wonk that was acquired by they're now owned by uh, SEO Moz which is a top tier SEO shop and this is the tool that I use to get somewhere between 250 and 300 new followers every month. Uh, you're going to want to set up a an account on Social Bro. It does. It's probably the granddaddy of them all when it comes to Twitter management. But what I use it especially for is to determine my best time to tweet. Every Saturday, I run it. I run my uh, my Twitter account through it, and what it does is it automatically builds my tweet schedule, because you don't want to send out a tweet to Twitter at two o'clock when your people are on Twitter at ten o'clock, and then you link it to Bitly so you can track everything. You're going to want to set up a do share account, which is the same thing as Buffer, only it's built just for Plus so you can schedule your pus your your post for Google Plus and send it to both your personal page and or your brand page you're gonna wanna look at and configure your Hootsuite this is the Hootsuite dashboard so now you have a macro view and as you can see here I've got my Twitter stream I got my Facebook stream my LinkedIn stream my SEO Moz group on LinkedIn and my Google Plus stream and it's really a toying cost between TweetDeck and Hootsuite. I'm just partial to Hootsuite. You're going to want to set up a Listly account so that anytime you find a web page or someone shares a, a good piece of content with you, you can host it on Listly and then click this share button and share it to your network automatically with one mouse click. Pearl Trees is the same thing as Listly, only different. It scans my entire social network 
adds a little pearl and then if I want to add it to a pearl tree I just drag that widget right in there and then click I can just share it on plus Twitter or Facebook or if I hit the share icon I can share it to my whole social network you're gonna to wanna to set up a scoop account so that you ha can create topics and what I really like about this asset is once I curate a piece it'll automatically post it onto my topic of which I've got 7,000 views but looky here in terms of content syndication I can Google Plus it, I can pin it, I can send it to Tumble or any one of these other social platforms that I've already configured and I do that with just a mouse click it's extremely powerful and then what's really cool is people will reshare your scoops and I'll show you how that works here in a second right within Gmail Twile is similar to uh, to scoop it only a little bit different it'll scour the web you'll configure it for your for your topics in in which case here's the topics that I'm tracking with and then what's really neat about Twila is what they call the power tweet you drop it into the the panel here send it to your buffer panel so that it tweets it at the optimal time so that's uh, semi automated content marketing the trap it tool lets you curate just killer content but what I really like about trap it is you can train it so you say this is good content and it'll bring you more content like that or you say no I don't like this you hit the little plus sign negative sign and then it won't bring you back content like that anymore the social uh, the rebel mouse uh, content aggregator it's kinda like Twilert it'll scan your entire social footprint and then bring it to you in draft form you say whether you want to post that up on your dashboard and then with a single mouse click you can share it to Facebook Twitter or hit this one and send it to your other social networks extremely easy to use uh, content syndication tool the social daily it's again it's the same thing only different it'll scour your entire social footprint and then it'll render it up and what's really handy about the the paper Lee is if your content is really good other people with a paper leave account this this post will automatically happen I didn't do that Joel didn't do that it just says his new papers out and I was one of the top stories that uh, that landed on his page um, each one of these major uh, content curation engines if they're really good they'll have it so that you can uh, incorporate into your web browser what they call a JavaScript bookmarklet so if I find a page where someone shares a piece of content with me I can pin it, I can power tweet it, I can drop it into mouse, I can scoop it, I can add it to my visibly toolbar or I can add it to my paper Lee page. Just really powerful and this is uh, the, all of these applets these are free. The IFTT engine is remarkably powerful but you gotta be a little bit careful with this one otherwise you find yourself double posting but basically the routine is you'll configure they've got 52 channels that are available I've activated 17 of them once those channels are activated then you get to create recipes and it's a it's a if this then that happens so if I star a post in my Google Reader it'll send it to blogger if I star a post in this uh, folder on Reader it'll send it to Twitter these are really powerful here these are bundles so anything that goes into this visibly bundle will automatically post to Twitter um, showing you how to do that comes in in round two the pixel pipe uh, syndication engine once you've configured all these pipes that's what they call pipes which are just basically social profiles then you're able to send it out to your to your social footprint so I was able to take this graph this image that I have drop in the meta drop in the slides drop in the key the tags and send it out the Empire Avenue asset this is what's really handy and very effective about this one is there alright so you configure your socials just like all the other platforms but what they have that's unique and different it's called Eves that's their virtual currency so like Patrick's doing here 
Um, he's he's saying for 2,000 eves, all you got to do is join his Facebook page, or 2,000 eves if you follow him on Twitter, or 5,000 eves if you subscribe to his blog. I use it to bring people to a new video that I created. So right now, what I've got 1.6 million eves, and my stock's trading at 97. This takes a little time to percolate, but once you've got it going, it's an invaluable tool from a from generating traffic to a site or a property that you want to get on the radar. The visibly social engagement toolbar is extremely powerful, so check it out. Once you configure your socials in here, then you go to the analytics toolbar. It'll show you unique clicks for a 30-day given period of time. Actually, this is a two this is a two-week view. But you can see here on May 23rd, 481 clicks happened. So that was a good, that, there's a couple thousand clicks in that, in just using the visibility toolbar. Like I say, if you've got uh, the, the, uh, the report of extension installed into Chrome, and it also works on, on Firefox, then one, you can automatically follow somebody, like them on Facebook, connect with them on LinkedIn, or circle them on Plus. It shows their their clout score. And you also, what you want to do is get set up with a Y stamp signature so that you make your signature embedded right into your emails and now people can engage with you right from within Gmail as well. Definitely want to get set up with a clout. When you first start out, your, your number of topics is three. And that over time, as you engage on all these different social networks, the number of topics that you become influential all grows. The national average for cloud is somewhere around 20, so your target is to hit north of 50. The trust cloud, is, it's kind of like Google authorship, only it's, uh, it's different. It's a, new, uh, it's a new asset out there. But what it's doing is it's saying, I am a trusted authority. I'm not some anonymous bot. And that's just going to help the, the people uh, engage with you. Setting up Google Reader, um, again, this takes time to, f number one, find the, the blogs that are appropriate for you. Uh, you can configure it so it'll talk to IFTTT. That's what I mean when I showed you, shared with you. Uh, if I star any one of these posts, it'll automatically send it to my Twitter stream. What I typically do, however, is I'll hit this drop send in button and post it up to my buffer account so it'll send it out when my Twitter people are online. You can get this visibly uh, toolbar extension so that this is a subset of my Google Plus Reader, not Google Plus Reader, just Google Reader. But what it does, especially that I find useful, is as these new properties add a new submission to their to their blogs it populates that little button there I can go look at it and if it's good stuff I can send it out to my network and how you find really good blogs to use I use the samurai tool go into the find find content based on the keyword that I have on the panel at time hit blogs sort by page rank I only like to participate and, and communicate with blogs that have a PR3 or better. You definitely want to set up a Discus account. The purpose being you want to have the comments that you leave. The more uh, thumbs up you get on a blog that uses the Discus commenting system, what that does is that shows people this isn't so much a link building campaign effort as much as it is reputation because when someone thumbs up a comment that you left then they're more inclined to click through and look at your social footprint of which it's the big three Facebook Twitter plus same thing with live fire when you get someone when you leave a comment that's that's that you know it's uh, intelligent contributory positive whatever the case may be then someone likes it and then that the other people that are participating in that thread they're going to click through and there's your big four this time plus Twitter Facebook LinkedIn and then the comment love system 
What's especially cool about this one is when you leave a comment on a system that you use in the comment love system, it will automatically render up the last five blog posts that you've done. So you can actually drive traffic to a particular blog post that sits on your property. And then finally the Gravatar. This is the WordPress across the network. So once you've set it up, once you've verified all of your services, then depending upon which email you code it to, it'll render up any one of these images. And you can have more than three. I just limit it to three. But what happens is when you leave a comment on a blog post, they hover over your name. It gets this hover card. They can click through, view your profile, and then connect with you. I'm partial to the bit.ly URL shortener because you got to track everything. Obviously the content that I did back on November 3rd was, was lame compared to what I did on November 15th. So it shows you what's working and what's not. You definitely want to get used to using and get comfortable with using webmaster tools. This is uh, your entry point to set up your Google authorship as well as Google Analytics when you use this system that I'm talking about this small business dashboard comes with it so you know where your visitors are coming from as well as the social dashboard it'll show you which one of your social networks are are responsible for the traffic to your site and you're gonna wanna set up a LastPass account because when you're doing your like just for example when you're doing your forum marketing you don't have to remember username and password anymore click that button click any one of these buttons and it'll drop you right into that so I don't have to remember Forbes or Huffington or or any one of the sites that I that I'm active on okay wrapping it up here this is the model that I built for the process on how to configure the the content marketing system based on your requirements so the first thing we do is we drop into norm we run a scan we find out where you where you have a profile now we configure your tools, we set up your tier 1 socials, then your tier 2 socials, and then we do the branding. And that's what it ends up looking like is you you have whichever one of these uh, social networks are appropriate for your business model, you make sure so that when you emanate from your main main site, your WordPress site, you can push it automatically to any one of these social networks. So, if this content made sense to you 27 minutes later, then I would invite you to hit that little yellow button, let me in. It'll send you to this Google Docs survey. Take you about 10 seconds to drop in your top five socials, your, your name, and your email. And if you do that, I'm going to send you one of these, which is a, uh, let me pop over here it will walk you through the process here are all the top socials and then I broke it down by medium type there's the video there's the audio there's the photos there's the articles there's the local directories there's Google Maps there's clout there's Google Plus and once we go through that process then you're going to get one of these because this is what this is the guerrilla marketing one-on-one -on -one social engagement process because what you'll see happen, and in, right in within your, your Gmail client, you'll see someone, if someone favored a tweet, it'll drop it in there. If someone retweeted it, it'll drop it in there. Or followed you on Twitter. Or circled you on Plus. Or added to a, a thread on Discus. Or looked at your Zerpli profile. Or followed you on YouTube. Or wants to connect with you on Merchant Circle. Or followed you on Quora or Pinterest, or About Me, or Scoop It, or Cloud, or Huff, or Udemy, or Pearl Trees, and drop in the Crowd Booster, or, or endorsed you on Trust Cloud, or downloaded one of, your, uh, one of your files off of Dropbox. So there's the orientation to the do-it-yourself content marketing system. So what I'd like to see you do is hit that let me in. That'll get you on the short list. I'll send you that Excel file, and then we'll take it from there. Thanks a lot for your time. Hope you found it useful, and we'll see you on the other side.